Well, uh, the inspiration for love leadership, uh, the new way to lead for the for fear-based world, is really the work of Operation Hope. I mean, it is our operating DNA. It's our, it is our operating manual. It is a love story uh, of Operation Hope. But it also is a great reflection of where we are today as a, as a nation and the world. Look at this global economic crisis. We treated people like transactions and not as relationships. No one's going to hire us. Uh, if you're black in America, you're born on probation. Uh, so you're going to be the last hire in the first, fi the first fire. We've got to create self-employment projects. We had to become entrepreneurs. Why couldn't we become homeowners and small business owners and entrepreneurs? Thus the, the vision for Operation Hope, a vision to change the world, eradicate poverty, and to start a movement that I now call Silver Rights, uh, from civil rights to silver rights, which is to make, finally, free enterprise and capitalism actually work for poor people uh, versus working against them. Financial literacy empowerment is my mission. I think if you asked Dr. King was civil rights his mission, he would have said no. My mission is to help people stop focusing on the basketball player who may be making $2 million a year. Okay, that's impressive. But to focus on the basketball owner who is, can afford to pay 30 players $2 million a year. Well, I'm honored to be an advisor to the last uh, three U.S. presidents, President Clinton, uh, President Br uh, George Bush, and President Barack Obama, around this issue of empowerment of the poor and the underserved, uh, and the last two presidents specifically around the issue of financial literacy. The first chapter in the book is Lost Creates Leaders, um, and Fear Fails. I know a lot about fear because I used to be racked by fear. I know a lot about being broke because I was broke. I know a lot about being poor, poor in spirit, because I was poor in spirit. So when I'm talking to people, I'm not talking to them. I'm really testifying from me. So fast forward, believe too much of my own press when I was in my teenage years. God has a funny way of sending messages. Whatever goes around, comes around, was homeless for six months of my life of believing too much of my own press and, uh, and, not, and being ashamed to admit that I didn't know what I didn't know. Um, so, and then uh, when I was 19, I started a, another business. I never give up. And when I was 20, by tw time I was 23, I was doing $24 million a year in business and done a management buyout of my own employer. The most dangerous person in the world is a person with no hope. That's why we're named Operation Hope.